Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the only one, the original Silo Man, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. And for roughly the next 10 and a half minutes, I hope to take you through some of these final photographs that we're shooting of the work being completed at this particular site, Site 4, in the Roswell, New Mexico area. As you can see here, we've just about finished up with the kitchen, the final phase. We've got a new microwave coming in. We'd like to address some of the areas under the light, but pretty much this is what she's going to look like. And of course, we'll be doing the, I'll show you the latest pictures when we're finally all completely done of the new flooring and all of that. This is what we call the office area or the bedroom. And I thought some of the colors came out quite well. Trim work just looks excellent. You'll notice some of the areas around there. And we do have a back area that could either be used for one very, very large closet or any type of an area that you may need. And here you can see it as a bedroom. There's just simply a twin bed in there for right now and a chair. Those areas that you see up on the wall, those were originally designed for bookcases or built-ins, which you still can have those. Here we have the utility room itself. I have washer and dryer hookups, and of course the utility sink. Here's some of the area that I, I'm pretty proud of myself, and that's my manifold area for the plumbing. In what we call the plumbing room itself, we have an on-demand electric hot water. And here's the living area or the basic space, and you can see an entertainment center with a very large TV. Some of the lighting that we've completed, and we're just going through now and doing some of the decorating, you know, with some of the plants. We'll be putting pictures up. You can see where the dining room table is. We'll be going back through putting in very large blown up pictures from part of my collection. So you'll get, you can see one of them there. So you'll be getting a better idea of what she's going to look like. I think the floor just came out beautifully. You'll also notice around the center column in the upper level of the control center where you see some of those red tube fours. That was for a lot of ventilation. What we've done is taken those out and you'll be seeing those towards the latter part of this video. And we've changed some of that colors. But she just came out just super. And of course, it's the last bit on what kind of, of uh, decorations that you would like to see. Thought about keeping the column the same color. Always in the other sites that I've done, I've always changed the color of the column itself. You can see one particular wall in that open area. We do have a few plants and a nice chair. I just love those little lights. You can see those little lights in the plug-in. We picked those up at the, I guess, the dollar store here, here in town, and they take no energy, but wow, what a great amount of light. And of course, the room has, uh, you know, just plenty of emergency backup lights, and we also have a backup emergency generator on the surface, should it ever be needed, and it's all automatic. Again, a little different view. You can see the backup lights there, and you can see the back crawl space area. We've got a pretty good area back there that you've got all the mechanicals. Also, there's a very large room back there that we use for just simply all of the equipment and tools and things like that that we need while we're doing our work around here. And you can see around the column what we wound up doing. And again, some of the trim work that you see. With, and we finished putting those lights on the walls. And here we're looking in the stairwell coming out of the um, upper level of the control center. We've repainted everything in the stairwell, including the stairs and the landings and the, and the handrails themselves. Here we're looking down towards the lower level uh, in the doorway into the lower level of the launch control center. And here we're looking back from the silo side through the utility tunnel to the bottom of the stairwell. 
you can see there that four inch line. We haven't painted it yet. That's that's the drain line um, to the sewer sump there where the sewage ejection pump picks it up and sends it to the surface. Here we're looking in the other direction towards the what we call the antechamber room to the silo. And here you can see part of the stairs and the railing there just above the bottom of the stairwell itself. And again, another shot there that you're looking at the doorway to the lower level, and you can also see where the stairs in the stairwell lead going on up. But the paint just came out perfect. All right, now we're on the upper level between the of the stairwell itself going into the blast lock area, and you can see some of the original photographs. The photograph you see of the launch console there on the right was originally taken at this site, Site 4 of the 579th Strategic Missile Squadron. And there we're looking up the entry where, where, where stairs to the surface. And here we're looking down the other direction. Went ahead and painted it, gave it all another nice coat. Going through and rehanging some of the pictures. So anyone that comes in, you get a really good understanding of what this place was like. Here you can see some of the work that we were doing on, on repainting the utility tunnel. And again, the other portion there, you're at the bottom of the stairwell, and that's what she looked like as soon as we put that coat of paint on. Through that second door in the background that you see there is on the way to the silo. And again, looking down from the upper level of the stairwell, you can see it all the way down going to the lower level, doorway to the launch control center. Another angle. And you can see where we have not painted so we can walk and then when we're leaving we just paint all of our way back. And again the lower level door. And just a beautiful job. That paint just come out beautiful. There you can see our little walkway right now in that particular area is the blast lock between the two blast doors coming down. Here you're coming into the, from the opposite direction into the entrapment area. And again, here's some of the design that we're doing on the upper level. You can see the doorway to the bathroom there on your left. We're just finishing putting in that plug in with the two lights up there. And also you'll see the outlet there on the left that we're going to be finishing up on. Again, another shot. This is taken from the surface as you're coming into the, in, the uh, entryway and looking down. I've got another jet pump down there. And you can see the work that we're doing. You may notice before that we just had two befores there that were painted that dark red. Here we're coming through and making a little bit different of a design, but we're still allowing some airflow there uh, around the center column itself. And that Manny's doing that work. And you'll see where we've come in and we've changed some of the plug-ins and doing some of the plaster work around those outlets. And Manny now is just putting down some of the trim. So she's just about finished. And some of the work that we're doing on, this, the, on the surface, we've repainted and, uh, the entryway itself. We'll be repainting the flagpoles and all the steel that you see up there for the fencing. We're also going through cutting all the weeds and we'll be putting down some killer and removing some of those things like those old toolboxes. That compressor is already gone. You can see what that ladder is sitting on. That's the emergency backup generator for this particular site. It puts out 15,000 watts or 15 kW. And you can see some of the other areas looking onward there towards the uh, entryway. And you can see Manny there painting the backside of the entryway on and these are all that we have thus far. So as we continue, I'll be updating you almost probably on a weekly basis. But again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. 
Hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget, if you enjoy what you're seeing, please subscribe. We'll try to have at least one a week in terms of videos. I'm sorry we're a bit behind just in the sheer volume of work that we have to do. We haven't really been able to get to the silo, which this particular site has about three quarters of its silo still remaining. Uh, and what I mean by that is the crib steel and the different levels that we have. And we'll be doing the work in there. Again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and please, I hope you're all very, very safe.